that's our default Northwind application. Let's go ahead and insert a new product. This product will have the name Chang. Let the supplier name of Bigfoot Breweries. Let's set the unit price to 99 and save the product. You'll notice that we have two products with the same product name. For our business requirements, it is required not to have any duplicate products. When the user attempts to insert a record with a name corresponding to an already existing product, we would like the user's submitted values to be applied to that existing record. This process is called upsert. Let's proceed to implement this business requirement in the products table of the Northwind sample. In the app generator, click on your project name and press design. Switch to the controllers tab. Let's create a new business rule for products. This SQL rule will run before insert command. Our rule will first check to see if there are any products in the table that match the exact product name specified by the user. If we do not find any products matching the condition, then the default insert operation will proceed. If a match is found, then we will prevent the default behavior. Then we'll go ahead and update that existing record with the user specified values. We will use the isNull operator to carry on the previous values of the record if the user does not specify a new value. Go ahead and save the business rule. Let's see our upsert behavior in action. Let's browse the app. Navigate to the products page. Let's create a new product with the name Chang. Specify a supplier of Bigfoot Breweries and set the unit price to 99. Notice that there is still only one record with the name Chang. The supplier company name has been updated to Bigfoot Breweries, and the unit price is set to 99. However, the rest of the values have stayed the same. This business rule will also fire during import operations. We have prepared the CSV file that contains two existing products, as well as one new product called ABCDE. Let's import this file and see what happens. Select Actions. Import from File. Select the file. Go ahead and press Submit. Make sure that the columns match the fields of the controller and press Start Import. We can see that the values in the CSV file match those that are in our database. Upsert provides a convenient way to use the external spreadsheet files to maintain or mass update records in your database.